Welcome to the numeracy five foot answers for the 11th of May. Okay, our first question. Our first question says to write down the fifth odd number. So let's list the odd numbers. They are one, three, five, seven, nine. So the fifth odd number would be nine. Okay, our next question. Our next question says tickets for a raffle cost three pound each. How many people bought tickets if the total sales were two thousand nine hundred and fifty two pound? Now we're going to assume that each person just buys one raffle ticket. So we're going to divide two thousand nine hundred and fifty two by three and that'll tell us how many tickets were sold. And then that if each person bought one ticket, that'll be how many people bought tickets. OK, so three into two doesn't go. So zero remainder two, three into twenty nine. Well, that goes nine times. That's twenty seven remainder two. 3 into 25, well, that would go 8 times, remainder 1. And 3 into 12 goes 4 times. So 984 tickets were sold. And if each person bought one ticket, that would be 984 people. Okay, our next question. Our next question, we've got a bus timetable. And we've got the town Southville, Leek, Milton, Newtown, Red Island, Sandville and Bakerstown. And the question says, a bus leaves Southville at 12.05. So that's going to be this bus here. Okay. And the bus goes, it doesn't stop at Leek, Milton or Newtown, it goes straight to Red Island and then doesn't stop at Sandville and goes straight to Bakerstown. So that's the times. It says, what time would it reach Red Island? So it would reach Red Island at this time, which is 12.36. How long does the journey take? Well, it left at 5 minutes past 12 and arrives at 12.36. So that would take 31 minutes by just taking the 5 off the 36. So 31 minutes. And then generally it says, what's the name of the stop after leak? So the stop after leak would be Milton. Okay, our next question. Our next question is arithmetic involving negative numbers. So we've got negative four plus eight, subtract two. So negative four plus eight, well, if you go eight up from negative four, that'd be negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, four. And then taking away two would give you the answer of two. And our next question, 6 subtract 8, well 6 subtract 8 would be negative 2.